Hey everyone, Steve McElhain again. Today we're going to do a fun little craft that involves a bounce ball um, and some straws. Um, we're going to talk about energy and physics. Um, there are two types of energy. There's potential energy and kinetic energy. Potential energy is the stored energy, and kinetic energy is when the stored object starts to move. So if I take this bounce ball and I hold it right here and I hold it still, it has potential energy. When I drop the bounce ball and it goes into motion, that's when it gets kinetic energy. So potential energy is essentially kinetic energy waiting to be used, waiting to happen. Okay, um, There are three types of potential energy. There's gravitational, elastic, and chemical. Uh, we're going to talk about gravitational. Uh, it, it's as simple as we're, we're talking about gravity. So if I take the ball right here and I drop it, gravity drops it to the ground. So potential is when it's still, we release it, the gravity happens, and it turns it to kinetic energy as it falls. Um, what we're going to do to demonstrate this and how the item, or the bounce ball in this case, uh, is potential energy and transfers to kinetic energy, and then it releases the energy altogether uh, in a fun, cool little craft. We're going to make a bounce ball straw rocket. Um, so what we're going to do, we'll set this up. Get this right there. All right. So the end result is going to be something like this. Uh, it's a bounce ball with a straw glued into it. Um, we've got two examples here. So... Um, and then we've got a basic rocket that we haven't really modified yet. And then one that we've put some surgical tubing on. We cut little fins on it, all kinds of fun stuff. But it's literally just two straws. Okay. Um, the only thing you need your parents' help with, you're going to need a drill bit that is going to be slightly or just the size of a straw. Okay. And the reason is you get to drill a hole into the ball. So the hole was drilled right here, um, half inch or so. Um, don't go all the way through, but just drill the ball, drill the hole in there. And the two, or the first straw you're going to do, you're going to cut lengthways, or long ways. So, I'll show you guys. Open it up. So, it is cut all the way down. Um, the reason is, this straw, with the rocket straw, they're the same size. You can't fit them on top of each other. So, what you're going to do is take a little tape, and you're going to have to roll this um, and reduce the size so it's a little bit smaller all the way throughout the whole straw. Okay, so this falls on. So once you kind of roll this and tape it, so this straw is now a smaller diameter than the actual straw it was, um, glue that into the ball. Okay, so now you have your smaller straw glued into your ball, and then you have your rocket. Now the way to test this to see if it'll work, um, if you take this and you turn it upside down and it falls off. So if we took it upside down and it would get stuck, it wouldn't work. It needs to be able to fall off freely. So if you put it on, you turn it upside down, if it falls off, It'll work. Um, if you try just to shoot a straw, sometimes it doesn't work. You drop it, and it went off a little bit. So sometimes you need to put a little weight on the end to get a little uh, nose on it. So this one, we put some hot glue on it. You can add stuff to it. Um, this one, I had a little surgical tubing in the garage, and then, or a little, actually, it's aquarium tubing. Um, and I found some foam from, I think it was a cell phone insert. Um, so what you're going to do, you cut your rockets, and you always want to leave about an inch at the top. Okay, so glued straw smaller than this straw. Once it is, once it's ready, you put it on, and then if you hold it, see this? You're just gonna go hold it right here. You take it, and all you do is you just drop it. So you drop it, you can see it goes up. Now the higher you hold it up, it's off camera, but it'll shoot the rocket way up in the air. So. Uh, it's a fun little activity, fun little craft. Uh, it's shown you that the potential, once you release it, it turns to kinetic, and then it's a cool little transfer where it launches the rocket off into there. So, again, all you need is a bounce ball, a few straws, some glue, and like I said, you can have fun creating some uh, tails with construction paper or foam or anything you can find around the house, uh, little pieces of cereal box. You can make all kinds of fins. So, um, that's our bounce ball rocket. It deals with a little bit of a physics, kinetic, potential energy lesson. I uh, hope you guys had fun with this one, and come back and see us in the next one.